girl that's falling so far. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my bathroom. If you are new here, my name is Kai. Welcome. If you're an OG, hey guys, welcome back. So I am in my bathroom and basically anytime I'm in my bathroom, I'm going to be doing something makeup related or skincare related. And today, as you can see in the title, it is going to be about the Pat McGrath um, new foundation line that has come out. So little bit of info about this product um, Pat McGrath is a, um, a UK born um, black woman who created this amazing brand she has been in um, the beauty industry for years and years and years I believe that she's been doing like runway and uh, fashion makeup for over 25 plus years uh, correct me if I'm wrong about that. I just really love her products. Products are like a luxury brand, so they are on the pricier side. Not even going to lie. It was, this this set was a lot of money. But um, overall, you know, I'm always trying to support black businesses and companies that I really enjoy. And so I wanted to go ahead and grab this set. Um, so this is her first like complexion line and in this line she had powders foundations primer and brushes and I got everything in the collection um, so I ordered online during early access and um, so I was able to get the entire set plus another foundation um, with 10% off which brought my total with uh, expedited shipping to over, I believe it was $301. Um, but I was refunded my expedited shipping because of the fact that I guess they didn't expect this launch to be as big as it was. And uh, I didn't get my products for like two weeks. So I just got them today as I'm filming this. And um, this wasn't going to be the video that I did today, but I, because I got them, I wanted to go ahead and do it. It's not that hot out today, so it gives me time to be able to put on the makeup without roasting and just disintegrating as I speak to you guys. So there's that. Um, the first product here is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. And... I will open that. The packaging is very nice. These are also my first impressions, so let's see here. Okay, so pulling the primer out, um, it looks like this. And unfortunately, this particular packaging looks a little bit on the cheaper side. It's just kind of paper wrapped around in plastic container. Take the container off and then you have this pump here and uh, and this is the primer it feels really light so maybe it's just a lightweight primer but uh, yeah that's what it looks like I mean it is still pretty packaging it's just this is a little bit on the uh, less uh, luxurious than I expected for the cost okay so the next product that we have in the set um, I got two foundations because I ended up getting the kit and the kit came with a foundation um, the primer and the two brushes um, but I wasn't sure exactly what uh, foundation shade to get because my skin could be tricky sometimes it can be on the lighter side sometimes it can be on the darker side um, sometimes it can pull some red and most of the time it pulls gold so I wasn't really sure which one to get so I got two and the first one that I got was the skin fetish in deep 32 and again very nice packaging 
and okay so this is way more like luxurious looking it's very nice it's like this um, frosted glass and uh, very nice gold and black lid gold pump very nice very nice looks pretty and again this is in deep 32 and this is the shade that I think will fit me best and this one has the um, I believe this one is the gold undertone the other foundation that I got which was one shade up which is deep 33 of course same packaging same look um, very nice very nice I chose my shade by going onto the Sephora website and on the Sephora website they have a shade picker kind of thing so if you go and you look up the Pat McGrath foundation they have this little option that you can click on where you can try to choose your shade <clears throat> excuse me so on there you can put in the color of the foundations that you currently wear and then they will select the best one in this range for you so I wear 450 in Fenty and I wear a 360 mocha and the um, the what is that the Maybelline foundation the the stay the stay wear one you know which one I'm talking about I, I know you guys know what I'm talking about but um, so I put those two colors in and the shades that they gave me were 29 and 33 so 29 looked like it was a little too light for me so I went ahead and I tried to guess in between that end of getting 32 and 33 okay so moving along um the next thing is the skin fetish sublime perfection setting powder and this one is in deep five and so this is what it looks like that is what it looks like and that is the shade and I haven't again I haven't opened this yet so it still has the little um, protector on there and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that oh oh my that uh that made a little bit of a mess okay it's okay it's fine it's fine everything's fine it's fine uh, so I just need to do that a little slower but um, this is what the shade looks like and I don't know um, it could be a little bit dark so what I will do you can see the sifter the sifter there uh, so what I'm gonna do is I probably for under eye I'm going to continue to use my uh, ColourPop banana shade uh, for my setting powder for under my eye, but for all over face I'm going to use this so that way I can get the full effect of the look and again This is in the setting powder in deep five So I got both of the brushes which were the sublime perfection foundation brush and the uh, Powder brush and let me take these out so you can see them okay, So now that I have the protector off uh, this is what the foundation brush looks like it just says Pat McGrath on it and the black and the gold which is like the signature color for their uh, for her products it's a very soft brush and what I'm going to do because Pat McGrath is very much known for using her fingers to apply um, foundation products so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat the product into my face and then I'm going to just go ahead and blend it out with the brush okay and then we also have the powder brush another nice fluffy soft powder brush and um, it's right here and yeah so now that I showed you now that I have shown you um, all of the products um, what I'm going to do next is that I am going to go ahead and apply the products to my face and so um, I am going to put 32 on this side and 33 on this side to kind of see what it looks like on so I'm not going to talk through that part I'm just going to do a voiceover for that and then I will come back at the end with the final product 
so I'll see you shortly okay first I'm gonna put on the primer on my clean washed face and I am slightly moisturized I am putting on the primer the primer reminds me of the Fenty primer it kind of has that type of scent but a little bit lighter um, it smells really nice it feels like skincare it goes on so smoothly and it just kind of melts right into my skin and it just makes my skin look really nice and smooth so it's a great primer for the foundation okay and now I'm going to start with foundation number 32 um, be careful when you pump this out because the product is very watery um, I forgot to use my little um, palette to squeeze my foundation onto but uh, I just put some on my hand and I pat it on my face and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well with foundation 33 and then I'm going to use the foundation um, brush to just buff that in so I'm going to pat that in as much as I can with my fingers and then just buff it out to kind of make sure everything is nice and even but even with doing it with my hands the coverage is so nice it just looks so pretty and it's dewy and radiant but not in the insanely crazy way where I look super oily because I do have combination oily skin and this just makes me look really nice flawless and radiant So I actually put a little too much on on this side, but it's okay because I was able to work it in and blend it out so it didn't look too bad. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. concealer in Rich Chocolate because I love brightness around the midpoint of my face. So I'm just going to put that under my eyes, on my forehead just a little bit, and on my chin just a little bit to overall brighten up my face. Now I'm going to use my ColourPop setting powder in banana and I'm just going to set everywhere that I put my concealer.
Okay, now I'm gonna take the Pat McGrath powder with the um, powder brush and I'm just going to blend that all over my face to kind of melt everything together. Okay guys, so I just finished off the look very simplistically. Um, so I put on a little bit of blush and then I put on um, my Rimmel lip gloss and then I also finished my eyes with the uh, Perma Precision Liquid Eyeliner by Pat McGrath and then the uh, Fetish Eyes Mascara also by Pat McGrath and then the um, eyelashes that I'm wearing are the House of Lashes lashes in featherette so um this is what everything looks like my final thoughts is that i am actually really loving the foundation like with the primer it just went on so smoothly and with my hands it just went on really nicely and lightly got eyeliner on my hand but um it just looked just really flawless and um, I really like how light it feels. I put a little bit too much on this side, but um, I really love color 32. I think that is my best shade. Uh, 33 is not bad either, so I'm just going to keep both shades and I guess I'll just, you know, switch them out when I feel like it. But overall, I really love the finish and the look of this foundation it played well with my other products it didn't get like cakey or anything it feels very light i don't feel like i'm wearing a ton of makeup um i really really like it the powder is really nice and light and um it's just really fine so uh, i just love everything i really really like it um yes i think it is worth the price it does deliver but it, it's definitely a splurge it's not something that is necessary but if you do want to support and you want a great luxury product I would highly recommend this um, of course I don't know what it's going to wear like and maybe one of these days I'll do like a wear test and then I will do a blog post about it and then I can just link that below once I actually do it but um, from First impressions, I'm just in love with it. I think it looks so good. The uh, the brushes are really nice. Oh, it just looks so good. I really, really like it. So comment below and let me know what you guys think about this look. And I'm going to do a little up close of it so you guys can see. So I will say that it is definitely buildable coverage. It's probably light to medium coverage depending on your skin type. So if you have more troubled skin, you probably will need more product to uh, cover. And of course, it's like your skin but better, so it's not going to do anything about texture. But it does overall look really clean and flawless and just like like oh my goodness like it just looks so good like so i hope you guys enjoyed this review and product try on if you haven't have any suggestions or anything that you would like to share with me leave it in the comment below as always uh like and subscribe this video so it tells me that you you know you want to see more of these kind of videos from me i know this video is a little bit longer but it's a little bit more informative and there was a lot going on so I will be back with another video very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next. Bye guys!